Okay, I'm going to install Debian on my Nokia N810 and um, the address of the walkthrough that I'm using is here. Um, so you can use that to follow the steps yourself. The first thing that I've already done is um, made sure that I have 1.3 gigabytes of free memory on either one of my memory cards. Um, this does include the 2 gigabyte built in on the Nokia N810. And I've also already installed the uh, MyTube application, which includes Python 2.5 and Python 2.5 uh, GTK2, which are both required for this. So um, I've also ironed myself the address for the um, Easy Deb CH root package, and you can install this from this URL. And so I'm going to click on that, and that's going to open up my. Uh, application man well it's going to open the web first and it's going to ask me if I want to download or s open the deb file which I'm going to say that I do and so that's uh, downloading and installing and while that's going it's about 60% done um, so once I do this, it's going to put a Debian image installer on my extras menu and I'll just uh, click on that to download the um, image file and go from there. So here's my application manager, it's going to ask me you know, if I want to install it and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to click OK and it asks you about 8 to 10 different um, installation questions. Um, all of which are just going to say yes. It'll put everything in the extras menu. If you want to create its own folder, you could do that. Um, but you can really do it wherever you want. There's the Debian root. It's going to ask me for ICE WM, Open Office, Abbey Word, ICE Weasel Web Browser, which is uh, also Firefox, the Synaptic Package Manager, Toggle Matchbox ke uh, Keyboard, and this is going to tell me that I need to have all that space open, and I'm going to click OK, and that's going to finish the installation. And so now I can close this and close the web browser. And I can also close the instant messenger. I sent myself a link. So under extras, I now have all these things, including the um, Debian image installer. So I'm going to click that. And this is going to be about an hour to download, or about a half an hour and it's going to take another 15 minutes or so to extract it on the tablet. So here it's asking me if I want to use memory card 1 or 2 um, and it even tells me how much space I have free up here. So um, I'm going to say that on memory card 2 I have 1.7 gigs free. So I'm going to install it there and it's going to do its thing. So we're going to fast forward to the end of this. And this is what you get after the download is complete. Um, it took me about two hours to download over Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click OK. And let's see, under And there you go. There is Debian Linux running on the Nokia N810. Um, we have the clock down here. And I can go to Programs, Applications, and let's try 
Um, here's we'll we'll open the Abbey Word in here. So obviously it's going to be really really slow. Um, the Nokia N810's processor is basically equivalent to like a Pentium 2, so it's going to take quite a while, but it's still kind of neat. So here's the splash screen. And it's going to take a while, but we'll just show you this one application and then let you go ahead and do it yourself. So here we go, I can open the presentation wizard. I can just open an empty presentation in Abbey Word. So, as you can see, it works. It's incredibly slow, um, but it takes about two and a half hours to do the full install. And then you can, um, I mean, you can fully use it. It works fine. It's just not optimized for speed, obviously, given the um, given the processor and resources of the internet tab. Okay, and just to show you, um, this is Grand Paradiso, which is basically um, a version of Firefox. It is running on the Nokia N810 under Debian. And I'm even able to use the built-in keyboard here to type in um, a web address. And so let's see how quickly it can bring up a page. So here's Tablet Guru, and it's pretty quick. Um, and you could scroll around fairly easily. So that works very well. Here's Internet Tablet Talk um, loading up. So uh, as you can see, it works really well. And um, that's it. There's an on-screen keyboard you can use, but I'm having issues with it. So um, I'm glad to be able to just use my regular keyboard, what gives you. So um, that's it. And look for more video tutorials from Tablet Guru later on.